I can't believe I haven't made this video yet. Today we will be going through my top 10 minifigures that I own. Let's jump right into number 10. The Nether Adventurer. This minifigure is really cool. The design is great. Mine does have prints that don't line up, but I think it makes it a bit cooler. This minifigure comes in the Nether Bastion, which is now retired with 300 pieces, but you could pick it up on Amazon for between 40 and 70 US dollars. I'm glad I picked this minifigure up when I did. On to number nine. Number nine, this very old clone trooper. Mine's a bit beat up, so it's not higher because of looks, but it's still a great minifigure. The design looks pretty good. I was a bit surprised when I originally found it in my Lego bin because I had never seen this minifigure up to that point. But it deserves a spot on this list because it's an OG and it's an amazing minifigure. Number eight, Kylo Ren. This minifigure is really cool. It has very subtle prints, but it just makes it even more epic. The mask and cape are the highlights for me. I got this fig from the Lego Star Wars battle on Takudana. Please don't yell at me in the comments if I didn't pronounce that right. I tried. As of writing the script, this set is going between 80 and 100 US dollars on Amazon. It's a retired product, but man, was it an awesome set. On to number seven. Number seven, Captain America. This is one of my favorite figures for many reasons. Reason one, Captain America was and still is my favorite superhero. Two, I got this minifigure back in 2017 or 2016. It was a set for my birthday, I believe, along with Bucky Barnes and Black Panther. Number three, this minifigure gives me nostalgia and just reminds me of my love for Lego. This minifigure is awesome. The regular shirts I have here, I did replace the pants with some dual molded ones because it looks better for display. Let's get right to number six. Number six, Batman from the Lego DC Bat Cave The Riddler Face Off. This set is actually awesome. Go check out my review of it and the stop motion build I did. The link will be in the description for both. This minifigure is a 10 out of 10. With all the epic prints, cape, and more, this minifigure is one of my favorites. The set it came in, released in 2022, and is now retired, but you can pick it up on Amazon for around $80 at the cheapest. On to number five. Number five, Rapid Steve. This guy is one of my favorites because of the face print. And no, its name is not Rabbit Steve. That's just a nickname I gave it because it looks exactly like this rabbit. It's one of my favorite because of its funny looks and the set it came in was amazing. You can get this minifigure for $10 along with a camel and a phantom. But let's get to number four. Number four, this clone, B-A-R-C Trooper from the 91st. Now, it took me a while to find the name of this minifigure, but I found it for lo by looking for offers on it. Found it for 40 US dollars, and the cheapest I found it after looking was $10. This minifigure is awesome. I love the OG helmet design, but enough of that. Let's get to the final three. Number three, Boba Fett. Now, this minifigure is amazing. From all the prints to the jetpack, this minifigure has it all. The details on the prints are outstanding. This minifigure looks extremely epic, and it's great for display or making sick animations with it. Take your pick. I got this one in the Boba Fett mech, which I believe was 12 or 14 US dollars. If not, editor me will put the price up right here. If you want, after this video, there will be a stop motion build of this set this minifigure came in in the description. On to number two. Number two, the green scuba diver. This is one of my favorites because, well, my favorite color is green. It's a super cool minifigure and it's just super great. It also came in in one of my favorite sets, the Axolotl House, which was 24 or 25 when I bought it and is now 27 on lego.com. And finally, the moment you've been waiting for, what is my favorite minifigure? It's the Christmas Ewok. Come on guys, just look at this guy. He's super cute, his design is great, and he's one of my first Ewok minifigures, and hopefully not my last. He's a 10 out of 10 minifigure from the 2023 Star Wars Advent Calendar. If you like this video and want to support the channel, hit that like button, subscribe, and comment to push this video out to more. It gets me one step closer to monetization, and with that, I could buy this year's Star Wars Advent Calendar to make content for you guys. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video. See you later! If you want to support the channel, watch this playlist or this video that YouTube thinks you'll like.